Peace, new hacks back again, as required and requested. We are now doing the install of Haiku to your hard drive. And it's pretty easy, really, really, well, pretty easy. It's easier than an easy thing to do, an easy thing to do, if you know what I'm saying. Right, you will need to use Gparted or Puppy Linux CD, Live CD, or any other Live CD to partition your disk, okay? So you need to make it bootable as well. So go to your flags and make the actual partition bootable. Once you've done that, you chuck in your CD or your USB stick for Haiku, and you'll get this, okay? This will be your screen that you'll see, because we're actually running from the live CD here, because we're going to install it. Now, here we have the installer. So what we do, we click on the installer, tells you all about it here and what you have to do, and if you're dual booting, how to do your grab, look, all down here, bloody blah, blah, blah. You can go and do that all yourself. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you how to do it nice and quickly. So we click on Continue. But no partitions have been found are suitable. So we go, okay, it needs the BE file system. Hmm, well, we know that, don't we? So, if we go to choose target, we can't. So we've got to set up partition, okay? And we find our little partition here, which I've made the XT2. So we click on there once. So we've got there, so that, that, that. So we go to disk. No, we don't. We go to initialize, silly me, and we want to make it set the BE file system, okay? So yes, when I do that. Do we want to continue? Of course we do. Yes, 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 just say yes to that, that's fine. You can get into it later if you want to. Right changes. The Haiku partition has now been successfully installed, or initialized even. Okay, so we click OK there. We can now get rid of our drive setup. And now we can choose our target drive, which is that one there. Well, you click on it again, there we go. And that's all you do, okay? And you just click on Begin. And here we go, and it will start installing for us, okay? Can take between, all depends on your machine, say between, ooh, should we say, three minutes and ten minutes on a really old machine, ten minutes by the way. So we're installing, and we're installing. So what else can I show you about Haiku? Well, nothing really, because we'll do another video after this one, do a bit more about installing programs from outside on the internet, on the big bad internet, by the way. So anyway, yeah, we can do that. I'm just move that up. So I'm just going to wait here for a bit longer and wait for it to do what it's got to do. As you can see, it runs along there. Like that. Right. What else? Oh, yes. Reported issues. I'm going to open it up. Oh, sorry. You have to install it for that. I forgot about that one. But we can look at the release notes, as far as I'm aware. Okay. There we go. Make it a little bit bigger while it's installing. It should be okay. Tell you all about it here and what you should do it with. So as you can see here, the minimum memory required is 128 meg. Now most of you have got a lot more than that, so that should be okay. Recommends one gig. Yeah, that's fine by me. And works on CPUs as slow as a Pentium 2 400 and as little as 700 megabytes of hard drive space. That's fine for me. If you read down here, it tells you all about it. You can get lots of different drivers for it for ATI and NVIDIA, so that's lovely. You get them from online. So you do, yeah? You do online. So anyway, we'll wait, and we'll wait, and we'll wait, and we'll wait, and we'll wait. Quite boring, man. So what I'll probably do here, I'll probably cut the video here for just a little bit. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Yes, I went away and had a cup of tea then, okay. As you can see, we're nearly done. I would say we've got about another minute and a half to go and we should be installed. Then all you do is reboot it and it's installed on your machine. But bear in mind, if you're going to dual boot, you'll have to get your grub done yourself. Okay, You have to edit it yourself. But if you just do a one-off install on an old machine you've got lying around, this could be the baby for you to do a nicely, nicely. Runs nice in VirtualBox as well. If you want to try it in VirtualBox, you can do everything you really want to. You will find, though, you will have to change your network network adapter to bridged and to the Intel one, okay? Otherwise, it won't find the internet, and you'll go, why not? Because it just won't. Just a wet plays ball. You should be able to get full screen resolution on the live CD. We won't have to wait until it's installed, so that's all hunky dory nicey nicey too. So lovely. Once it's installed, you read there lots and lots of lovely stuff with haiku. But as you can see how easy it is and how quick it is. I think this is talking around about four minutes, isn't it? Something like that. Can't be no more than that, really. No, can't be really. Quite boring sitting and looking at the screen, really, anyway. Anyway, what else can we do? I showed you quite a bit, few bits last night, didn't I? <clears throat> so, we've got activity monitor and stuff like that. 
and some demos and how it does all multi-threaded stuff and your desktop epaulettes. I showed you all that, so that's nice to do. In your preferences, as you can see, you can do your CPU frequency if you want to. Check out the desk bar, do your email stuff here, set it all up, really, what you want to do. And set up your OpenGL, do your printers, your screen resolution is here. I'll open that for you, and you can see what I mean. There you go, screen resolution is there, nicey nicey. Lovely. Oh, and we're done. Look, we're done already. Super duper. So, we can now quit that. And all you do now is reboot the machine, and we're ready to rock and roll with Haiku with Baby B. Okay. Sneaky Linux apps. I'll see you later. Bye bye.